Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Sanders Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin, behind the camera we got Heavy Metal Dylan. What's up? Today we're going to be uh, getting into some staff picks, flipping through some new arrivals, recently priced records, and addressing the viewer questions at the end of the video. As always, see anything you like, you can hit the DMs on Instagram, uh, give the shop a ring, or just cruise by. We're open 11 to 8, seven days a week. Before we get started, to really kick things off, gotta hype up a new shirt. We did a new shirt. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a kind of a, uh, um, you might say random, but really I realized I hadn't done like an original shirt in a long time and I just wanted to, to get something out there. Uh, you want to know this? Should I tell them the story? Go ahead. All right. This is my recollection. It's from Aesop's Fables. Goat walks past the well. Looks down and sees a fox in it. Like, hey, what are you doing down there? Fox is like, ah, oh, well, there's a drought coming. Decided to go in the well, have access to all the water I need. Goat's like, oh, there's a drought. I didn't hear anything about that. He goes, yeah, I mean, look. Plenty of room down here. You want to get down here, get in on this water before the drought comes. So the goat says, you know what? I'm, this fox seems legit. Jumps in the well, right? Fox jumps on the goat, jumps off the goat. He's like, hey, what, what, what are you doing? I thought you were gonna stay, hang out down here. He goes, oh no, I, uh, there's no drought. I just needed to get out of the well and I couldn't do that if you weren't in the well with me. So I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, that's what the shirt is. Well, yeah, the shirt, I just think the shirt looked cool. <laughs> I just thought the image looked cool. No, just a well with a goat. But it's a funny story. The moral is, you know, you don't, um, what's the word? You don't uh, talk to strangers. You don't talk, when people are in a bad situation, you can't always take their, uh, take their advice. Hmm. You have ulterior motives. So, you know, keep that in mind. And if you got the shirt, which is available in our big cartel, it's available in person. I've had a couple mail orders already. I love that. I'm shipping out some shirts in a timely fashion. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, they, they are available while they last. It's a one-time printing, quote unquote, because you know. You never know. Ten years from now, I might reprint them. But the only, oh yeah, this is the only one you'll get for a while, a very long time. Let's just say. Let's talk about records. What are you listening to, Dylan? What am I listening to? Mm -hmm. What am I listening what to? What are you listening to, bud? Oh, dude, the new Drain record, uh, yeah. Living Proof. Santa Cruz is back. Uh, don't know where. They weren't really gone, really, but uh, it's a great hardcore album, and I enjoy it very much. A lot of uh, a lot of metallic riffing. Yes. Um, tight technical playing. Yeah. I too am a Drain fan. Yes. I'm in the Drain gang. Yes. I believe that's what they call it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's different Drain, but yeah, go on. Pretty sure it's the same one. Yeah. Anyways, Drainers, I like the band because their whole thing is just playing good music. Yeah. Technically well, recorded well played well and um, yeah it's not like a vibe or like a streetwear tie-in or like if you know you know it's just like here's our songs enjoy them yeah. and uh, I yeah I really appreciate that I think they're a, I think they're a top-notch band I, li I like this album too yeah. good good pick Dylan thank you I got some stuff for you yeah what are you listening to first Leatherface is back you know I'm a fan um, yeah this one I don't like as much as Lush Mush that's it Mm -hmm. I don't. Th I think that's a general consensus is that this one's not uh, their best album, but it's still a very good album, and uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. You're still not still not on the Leatherface game, are you? No. It's a pop punk Motorhead man. I feel like that's such a soft pitch for you, but you know, give it a chance at some point. Is it yeah. open? Uh, yeah, this one is. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I uh, got it hooked a while back, and I, I never quite got out of it. Really enjoy this record. So yeah, cool to see that back in print. Speaking of back in print, it's back, baby. Rust in peace. Uh, it's a very crucial album. Nice to see it back. I haven't been able to get this in store for a very long time. Hopefully the rest of the catalog follows suit. I had a kid come in asking for Countdown to Extinction, mm -hmm. which is a record I don't know if I've seen it in print while I've been at a store. Certainly not at a reasonable price. I'm like, damn, that would be a good one to get back. Yeah. And uh, what's the, the Youth in Asia is amazing too. I'd love to have those albums uh, in, in print again because those are really tough to find OGs of. So yeah, get those get those back too. But this, uh, a better album than both of those, is still here. And uh, yeah, phenomenal pick. Let's look through some records. All right. We'll continue my uh, my journey back into the heart of the Motorhead catalog. You know, it's really depressing listening to March or Die. Why? If you listen to all the Motorhead albums chronologically, that's their first bad album. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think half of 1916 is good. Half of it is pretty annoying. But yeah. I also think probably the most Hard part about listening to Motorhead past the 80s into the 90s, they lean pretty heavy into those boogie-woogie songs. Yeah. Horns and 
rocking riffs and the, the schmaltzy parts kind of are irritating. But they have really good songs too. Yeah, I don't remember any bad songs, bro, but I maybe just be skipping. Yeah, the, some of the spacier numbers are cool. I think he kind of gets back in touch with his Hawkwind side. Mm. So I got, I got some highlights though. I've only gotten to Up to Sacrifice. I've listened to Sacrifice. Okay. Which is a phenomenal record. It doesn't really have standouts, I wouldn't say. Mm. It's just like a whole album. Get into this weird new metal era of Motorhead or don't. <laughs> but off of 1916, No Voice in the Sky, which I think is one of the best songs from any group in the 90s. Okay. Uh, the song Ramones off of 1916, that's, a, that's an underappreciated part of the Motorhead um, experience. The love for Ramones specifically. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think pe- people don't... Welcome to our Ramones and Motorhead podcast, everyone. Yes. How's it going? People don't realize how like uncool the Ramones were in the early 90s. Mm. Like the albums were out of print. It was just those like all the stuff and more compilations. They weren't big. Yeah. For Motorhead to write a whole ass song about them. Just, hey, you know who's cool? (laughs) And that understands their music. Motorhead in the song Ramones, they understand like the riffing and like how Ramones songs work. Yeah. A phenomenal track. Uh, Make My Day off of there is amazing. Shut You Down is amazing. Stand off of March or Die, great. And um, man, Bastards is awesome too. When was the last time you messed with Bastards? The album? Yeah. Long time. Those first three songs, boom, onslaught. If you took half the good song, half of 1916 and half of Bastards, you would have a insane god tier onslaught of an album. And uh, that's, where, that's where I leave off in the Motorhead catalog this week. 2000s are a very fruitful year for the group be making an album like every two years or something yeah just yeah like clockwork but i'll give you a spoiler i know for a fact the best album of that era is inferno oh that's your favorite yeah it's such a kick-ass album i like motorized or motorizer Motori- motorizer yeah i remember liking that one yeah i mean a long time and that's why we're revisiting and on, on our next podcast <clears throat> we're running with the driver again yeah dude all right yeah, all right YouTube questions. This is the part of the video where we answer the questions left in last week's uh, video. This time around, Charlie Shafai is coming out. He's got a question for you, Dylan. Me? Yes. All right. And me. Listening. Both of us. Oh. He's uh, asking the most like experimental, heavy, different, far out kind of music we like. We're always kind of in a, in a, I feel like we're boxed in a little bit as far as like talking about song oriented music. What do you, what do you play that's a private, public, whatever, some weird zone. Take me to the freak pit. Experimental though? Yeah, yeah. Experimental oh, dude, music. I don't know. I know you're a free jasmine. I like free jazz. Does that that counts? I think so. In yeah. my head it's like you're you're listening to like static. Listen, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like that's the experimental. Remember when I introduced you to uh, the uh, uh, group Harry Pussy? <laughs> yeah, and I liked it a lot. <laughs> that's, a great, that's a great record. I, I do. I have a weird kink for stuff like that. Yeah. I can get into it sometimes. Yeah. It has to be like uh, harsh. Harsh, like your ears. Abrasive, I guess. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. I also got pretty deep into the. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a velvet underground cultist. Yes. Certainly was at one point. Yes. And um, still kind of consider myself uh, to be that. And so, like, the all the adjacent music concrete uh, stuff from that time, Terry Riley and whatnot, I'll, I'll put on those records like that from time to time. I get into some, some weird sound experiment. I'll, I'll put up, we'll put up a picture of this record. It'll, this will be in post. Mm-hmm. This one here. Um, yeah, pull, pull, pull this one up on Spotify. And that's a record I've played many times you know, to myself <laughs> for fun. You want to hear like robots fighting with each other. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I can, I, can get, I can get weird with it. I got no patience for like new groups who do stuff like that. You yeah. know, laptops and stuff. That doesn't really do much for me. I'll get, I'll, I'll admit under duress, I'll get down with like some White House. Like the OG, OG um, industrial noise stuff. But like, I just feel like all the good experimentations were done. Yeah. I haven't heard anything current. Fresh. Yeah, that yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a completely original idea, especially if you can hear like totally f- insane sonic experimentations that go back to the 60s. You have to really be outside. I'm not saying they don't exist. Mm-hmm. I'm saying I don't really hear them. And if it's just like a noise group or something, I don't really know. You ever heard that uh, Tony Conrad with Faust album? No, but I've seen the cover. It's fucking sick. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll link it to you. I, I, <clears throat> that, that's when I put on my fancy pants stuff. Okay. 
I used to like Deer Hoof, but I don't know if I can listen to it nowadays. Yeah. I don't know. Experimental for me is always like just weird. Like, I guess I like a. I'm not calling 100 Gex experimental, but like adjacent. Yeah, like electronic, uh, hype, not hyper pop necessarily, but. Yeah, like their DJ stuff, I who, really like a who lot. Who was that lady you liked last, a couple years ago? Like Linda Boussoulet or something? Linda Boussoulet? Oh, this one. Oh. Lauren Bowsfield. I did really like that album. Yeah, that's kind of far out. I also really liked, uh, I forgot her name. Oh, I don't forgot it. I just can't say it. Lingua Ignota? Yes. Yeah. Ever. She's good too. But, but Is that experimental? It, I would say so, but it's also pretty like, it's very Diamond Agalis hmm. and um, Fair enough. a handful of others. I was always, I, I, any anxiety always reminded me of her records hmm. um, in terms of having like a freaky soundscape stuff in the background. Anyways, moral of the story, we are just galactic brain <laughs> people with very, uh, you know, left to center taste. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. Put on KKB's like experimental album. See if you can get on my level. <laughs> listen, to, uh, listen to those records. There we go. If you have a question you'd like to see answered in next week's video, leave a uh, comment in the YouTube comment section. We'll get to it next week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, yeah, and order a shirt, please. It makes me very happy. Or come in and buy one. Either way, get a shirt. Uh, thanks. Bye. God damn it. Take me to the freak pit. <laughs> <laughs>